They're just starting to look for their start points, looking at where the, the trees and how it moved along the trees and how it moved along the ground to see, try to backtrack to where it came from. This is video captured by Bob Sikorsky, showing fire investigators setting up a command post and working from his father's property on Falcon Drive in the Black Forest area. They're searching exactly to try to find exactly where the Black Forest fire began. And once that's determined, the investigators can work to pinpoint the cause. 7 News always investigating. Marshall Zellinger digging into exactly how investigators are going to do that. Marshall? Mike, by going to that home on Falcon Drive and taking a close look at the patterns on the ground. Tonight, I spoke with a private fire investigator who describes coming down to the ground, looking at which way the vegetation is burned, then using something as simple as a, simple as a sprinkler flag to help visualize and determine the starting point. Your area of origin has the lowest amount of energy, so your burn patterns are going to be the least intensive. Wildfire investigator Kirk Schmidt set up this example to show us how to determine the cause and origin. If you can imagine that inside the scratch line where the flags are, that's all black, it's all burned vegetation. Kirk uses blue flags to indicate where he thinks the back of the fire was, yellow to show where it spread sideways. Up, I've got some other, a really good advancing pattern. And red flags to indicate the direction the fire moved. An advancing fire is going to basically take and eat all this part of the grass away, and so you're going to have a really nice char pattern, black, over this side, it might be protected. Which After Kirk determines where he thinks the fire began, he starts a grid search. And little by little, I'm going to sift all this debris. He'll search by hand for cigarette butts or a match. And a matchstick when it's burned looks just like a twig, except for it's kind of got those four rounded edges on it. And, it. and believe it or not, it'll stand out from all the other twigs in that plant. He'll use a magnet to find metal from a car or yard equipment. It's like, how do you find black stuff and a whole bunch of black stuff when it's all black anyways? And he finishes with a metal detector. Well, this is the kind of the standard that everybody should be using when they do an investigation. Kirk was able to show us this method and talk candidly because he is not part of the El Paso County investigation into the cause and the origin, but he may go to that spot tomorrow. He's actually hired privately to investigate cause and origin for potential lawsuits. Reporting live, Marshall Zellinger, 7 News.